Hi, CS students. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a folder where you can store your images and then how to reference images out of that folder when you want to put them in your HTML. So my left bar looks a little bit different than yours, but it's the same process if you ignore this bottom lesson part that's for teacher view only. So I'm going to add a folder. I can call it anything. I want to make it a meaningful name, so I'm going to choose images. Now I have a folder and I'm going to pull some images. So let me open up another tab. I want colorful images for right now. Let's do images. And I will right click. I will save the image as rainbow example. Okay, it's in my folder. And now I can add a file to this folder. Nope, that's not going to work. I want to upload a file. So here's my rainbow example. It's outside of the folder right now, and I want to put it inside. So I'm going to drag it in. Now it's in the folder, and I can put as many images as I want in this folder. I can even put folders in the folder. And depending on how many images you get and you want to stay organized, that's why I'm showing you this folder, because some of you had so many images listed here that it kind of got um, overwhelming. So this is a way, and then you can click or close it and not see all your images. So now I want to reference an image. So I'm going to say image src equals, and I've got to start with the folder name, and then I can start typing. It should come up. There we go. So you see that you first have the name of the folder, then the slash, and then the name of the file. When I run it, it should show. Great. So there's an example of how you can add an image folder upload images to the folder, and then reference those images in your HTML.